Hello, my name is Marie. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you also. Okay, get ready. Let's start with the first question. Name one idea found in the Declaration of Independence. The idea that all people are created equal. What is the supreme law of the land? The supreme law of the land is the Constitution. What does the Constitution do? The Constitution sets up the government and it protects the right of the people. What does we the people mean in the Constitution? The power of the government comes from the people. What do we call changes in the Constitution? Changes to the Constitution is called amendments. What is an amendment? Uh, an amendment is a change to the Constitution. What do we call the first ten amendments of the Constitution? They are called the Bill of Rights. Name one right or freedom from the First Amendment. Freedom of speech, religion, and assembly. How many amendments does the Constitution have? The Constitution has 27 amendments. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It announced the independence from Great Britain. What does freedom of religion mean? It means that you can practice any religion and uh, also the choice of not practicing any religion. What type of economic system does the United States have? We have a capitalist economy or a free market. What are the three branches or parts of the government? Uh, the three branches are executive, legislative, and judicial. Name one branch of the government. One branch would be Congress. Who is in charge of the executive branch? That is the President. Who makes federal law? Federal laws are made by Congress. What are the two parts of the United States Congress? They are the Senate and the House of Representatives. How many United States Senators are there? There are 100 Senators. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? We elect them for six years. Name your two states Senators. Please find out who the two Senators are for your state. How many U.S. Senators does each state have? There are two Senators for each state. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? They have 435 voting members. We elect a U.S. Representative for how many years? They are selected for two years. Name your U.S. Representative. Please find out who your U.S. Representative is. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? The Senator represents all the people of the state. Who does a U.S. Representative represent? A Representative represents all the people of the district. What decides each state's number of U.S. Representatives? It is decided by the state's population. How is each state's number of representatives decided? The state's population. Why do we have three branches of government? They want to make sure that no branch is too powerful. Name one example of checks and balances. The president has the right to veto a bill. We elect a president for how many years? The president is elected for four years. How old must the president be? The president must be 35 years old or older. To become president of the United States, what must you be at birth? 
To become President of the United States, he or she will have to be a citizen at birth. Who is the President now? Please find out who the current President is. What is the name of the President of the United States? Please find out who the current President is. Who is the Vice President now? Please find out who the current Vice President is. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States? Please find out who the current Vice President is. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? In that case, the Vice President will become President. Who becomes President if both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve? If the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, the Speaker of the House will become President. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the military? The President is the Commander-in-Chief. How many full terms can the President serve? The President can serve for two full terms. Who signs bills to become law? The President signs bills. Who vetoes bills? Only the President can veto a bill. What is a veto? The President says no to a bill. What does the President's Cabinet do? The Cabinet advises the President. Name two Cabinet-level positions. The Secretary of Agriculture and the Secretary of Defense. What cabinet-level agency advises the President on foreign policy? The State Department advises the President. What does the judicial branch do? The judicial branch reviews and explains the laws. Who confirms the Supreme Court justices? The Senate confirms Supreme Court justices. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States? Please find out who the Chief Justice of the United States is. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? There are nine judges on the Supreme Court. Who nominates justices to the Supreme Court? The President nominates the justices for the Supreme Court. Name one thing the federal government can do. The federal government can declare war and make treaties. What is one thing a state government can do? They can provide schooling and education. What does it mean that the U.S. Constitution is a constitution of limited power? The states have all the power that the federal government has not. Who is the governor of your state? Please find out who the governor of your state is. What is the capital city of your state? Please find out the capital city of your state. What are the two major political parties of the U.S. today? The two major political parties in the United States are the Republicans and the Democrats. What is the highest court in the U.S.? The Supreme Court is the highest court in the land. What is the majority political party in the House of Representatives now? Please find out who has the majority as a political party. What is the political party of the majority in the Senate now? Please find out who holds the majority in the Senate. What is the political party of the President now? Please find out what political party the President belongs to. Who is the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Please find out who the Speaker of the House is. Who is the Senate Majority Leader now? Please find out who the Senate Majority Leader is. In what month are general presidential elections held in the United States? 
The presidential elections are held in November. When must all males register for the Selective Service? They have to register at age 18. Who is the Secretary of State now? Please find out who the Secretary of State is. Who is the Attorney General now? Please find out who the current Attorney General is. Is the current President in his first or second term? Please find out what term the President is in. What is self-government? Self-government is when the power comes from the people. Who governs the people in a self-governed country? The government elected by the people. What is the rule of law? The rule of law is that everyone must obey the law. What are inalienable rights? Inalienable rights are the rights that people are born with. What are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote? Describe one of them. Any citizen over 18 has the right to vote. Name one responsibility that is only for United States citizens. The responsibility to serve on a jury. Name two rights that are only for United States citizens. The right to carry a passport and the right to vote. Name two rights for everyone living in the U.S. The freedom of expression and the freedom to assembly. What is the Pledge of Allegiance? It is a promise of loyalty to the flag and to the nation. Name one promise you make when you say the Oath of Allegiance. To defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States. Who can vote in U.S. presidential elections? All registered citizens age 18 and older can vote. Name two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy. You can vote and join a political party. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? You have to send them in by April 15th every year. Name two of the natural or inalienable rights in the Declaration of Independence. Life liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now we go to the American History section. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? It was adopted on July 4, 1776. Name one reason colonists came to America. They came here for freedom and religious freedom. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Founding Fathers wrote the Constitution. Why did colonists fight the British? Because the British denied the colonists self-government. When was the Constitution drafted? The Constitution was drafted in 1787. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? People from Africa. Who lived in America before Europeans arrived? The Native Americans. Where did most of America's colonists come from before the Revolution? They came from Europe. Why were the colonists upset with British government? Because of the Stamp Act. Name one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for. He was the oldest member of the Constitutional Convention. Who is called the father of our country? George Washington is called the father of our country. Who was the first president of the United States of America? 
George Washington was the first president of the United States of America. Name one of the writers of the Federalist Papers. James Madison. What group of essays supported passage of the U.S. Constitution? The Federalist Papers. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The War of 1812 and the Civil War. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. What country sold the Louisiana Territory to the United States? France sold the Louisiana Territory to the United States of America. In 1803, the United States bought a large amount of land from France. Where was that land? The Louisiana Territory. Name one of the things that Abraham Lincoln did. He saved the Union and freed the slaves. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? It freed the slaves in the Confederate States. What did the abolitionists try to end before the Civil War? They wanted to end slavery. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for women's rights. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II and the Vietnam War. Who was president? during World War I. Woodrow Wilson. The United States fought Japan, Germany, and Italy during which war? World War II. What was the main concern of the United States during the Cold War? The spread of communism. What major event happened on September 11th 2001 in the United States. Terrorists attacked the United States of America. What international organization was established after World War II to keep the world at peace? NATO, also known as North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Which U.S. World War II general later became president? Dwight Eisenhower. What did Martin Luther King do? He fought for civil rights. Martin Luther King, Jr. had a dream for America. What was his dream? Equality for all Americans. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. Name one of the major American Indian tribes in the United States. The Lakota Sioux. Now we go to the Integrated Civics section. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Missouri River and the Mississippi River. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. What country is on the northern border of the United States? Canada is to the north of the United States. Where is the Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon is in the state of Arizona. Where is the Statue of Liberty? It's on Liberty Island near New York City. What country is on the southern border of the United States? Mexico is to the south of the United States. Name one large mountain range in the United States. The Rocky Mountains. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Name the state that's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Hawaii. 
Name one state that borders Canada. New Hampshire. Name one state that borders Mexico. California and Texas. What is the capital of the U.S.? Washington, D.C. Now we go to the symbols section. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because the stripes represent the original 13 states. Why do we have 13 stripes on the flag? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? There is one star for each state. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. On the 4th of July, we celebrate independence from what country? Great Britain. When do we celebrate Independence Day? The 4th of July every year. Name two national U.S. holidays. Veterans Day and Thanksgiving. Thank you. That concludes the test for today. Thank you.